Hey girls, it's Monday. Sorry if I sound really croaky and a bit harsh during this. It's just, I've got a really sore throat and I feel really ill and I look really crap. <coughs> Some sort of this video is really bad. But I'll try to be entertaining, just don't expect it to happen. So, the theme of this week is music. And particularly, we're going to have five songs and five bands slash artists. So, that should be fun. So my first band is Yellow Card. I I completely love them. They are pretty much my favourite band of all time. I just, I think they're pretty damn amazing to be honest. Um, I got into them through Harry Potter because I was on the MuggleNet website and I saw that like nearly all the staff members had mentioned Yellow Card and say had favourite bands and stuff. So, yeah, I had to download some tracks when I saw that, and then I got really hardcore into them, and they were the first proper, like, band that I ever listened to, and that's how I think I got into all the rest of, like, the rock music. So, I kind of owe them a lot, really. Yeah. It's who you know. My second band should make Abby happy, My Chemical Romance. I got into them through Kinsman playing them on to me on the school bus in the morning and it was the same time that the Black Parade song was really really big and they were about the same time that I got into Yellow Card and it was another band that contributed to me getting actually into proper decent rock music so yeah and and I really love Jared Ray's voice and the lyrics are really cool and this is my favourite song by them because it's just beautiful and if you've seen the video, the video is amazing. So yeah, that's my favourite. Band number three is Kill Hannah. I saw these this Thursday and they were amazing, they were so good. I don't even remember how I got into Kill Hannah, which is weird because I usually have a little story behind everything, but I honestly have no idea. I don't remember at all. But they are at like my favourite band right now. I love them so much. And this Thursday was just amazing. So close to the front and like Matt Devine's sweat got on me, that's how close I was. I was a happy, happy fine girl. He's beautiful. His voice is amazing. Welcome to Chicago, motherfucker. And yeah, it's a really, really good night, and this band are amazing, and they use a lot of synth and a bit trancey, so I like them. My next band, I Panic at the Disco. I I don't remember how I got into these. Oh, yes, I do. I was on Bebo, and. They always used to show like YouTube videos and everybody's profiles I think and at the start of I Write Sin Not Tragedies they have this wedding cake thing on a plaque and to me it looked like a sorting hat and I kept re-watching it trying to figure out if it was the sorting hat or not and then you know it wasn't it was a wedding cake but yeah then I had the song stuck in my head and had to buy the album I forced myself to his drives whoa and um, yeah I really like them and this song is probably one of my favourites. Me and Crystal used to sing this to each other all the time and ha! Huh. And I think at one point we even had a little dance to it, or maybe that was just me and my own, but you know, I love them. My last artist slash band thing is Lady Gaga. Everybody looks a bit shocked when I say how big a fan of Lady Gaga I am, but I think her songs are like, they're amazing and Gaga herself is such an inspiration like, okay she has influences from like David Barry and other people and Madonna in there but she's still herself, she's an individual and everybody has influences from themselves from other people and I just love Gaga's music and her outfits are amazing like the Kermit the Frog one, I still can't get over how cool that was. I would generally wear no I wouldn't, that'd be silly. But they're amazing. Uh, and I just I love her. I love her voice and she's awesome. 
so now we move on to the five songs. Um, the first one I'm going to mention is Razor's Edge by William Control. He was also the lead singer in Aiden, but I prefer his solo stuff a lot more. He's coming to Manchester in July, which I'm excited about. Um, I really love this song because it's angry without having to write, oh, I'm so angry, or screaming, or anything. It's just, it's really good. And it's a bit dark, and it's a bit, I don't know, it sounds a bit dangerous. Sounds like something you should be listening to in some sort of dirty nightclub place. Not that I ever go to them. I have no social life, but this song is cool and it makes me want to sing it whilst smiling, whilst inwardly crying. No, I just love it. My next song is Song to Say Goodbye by Placebo. Um, this is one of those songs that I relate to far too much, it's kind of a recurring theme for me, but this song's really, really, really good. Sorry, news. Um, it's really, really good because it was my theme tune when I was going through a really rough time. So I used to listen to this and sort of soft my little emo heart out. But yeah, I like it because it reminds me of that time. I never said I was normal, okay? <laughs> Song number three is My Dad is Rich by Swish and Flick. It's a tribute to the Drake and the Malfoy song, My Dad is Rich, and yeah, it's a wizard rock song. It's, it's, so, it's just gangster wizard rock, so it makes me feel pretty cool when I walk in, like, listening to my iPod, and it always seems to come in just as I'm walking into my classroom, so I always feel pretty gangster whenever I stroll in. The next song is The Kill by 30 Seconds to Mars. Um, this song is one of those that I used to relate to a lot when I was messed up and um, I always used to write song lyrics at the start of diary entries and this song was one of those that I used a lot because I used to be really angry and I wasn't a nice person but this song made me feel a bit more powerful and a bit more happy and yeah, it was a good song. The last song is For You by My Life Mistake. It's they're a really, really beautiful band and the music they play is just gorgeous. It's it's unlike anything I've heard lately and it's really emotional music. This song in particular reminds me of a really good friend that I had who I'm not that like, close to anymore, which is really sad, but I told them once that these lyrics were like how I felt about them because they were pretty much. So this song's all about like how you, everything you are is thanks to this person and how strong you are because of them and it's a really good song for that and this song means a lot to me because they like meant a lot to me so yeah that's the last song and all my songs are ridiculously emo. Blog of the week time. Um, my blog of this week is Mad Hatter. I don't think I've done her before. <laughs> I post the link down there as usual. Um, she posts a lot of Harry Potter stuff and a lot, a lot of Snape Alan Rickman stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, the girl, Mad Hatter, Gemma, whatever. She's really cool and she's amazing and she's lovely and. She told me I was lovely last night in a little message, so that was sweet. So I think you should go and follow her. That's it. Bye.